everywhere all at once. This film was directed by Daniels. Not the Daniels, but just Daniels. The little boy from Indiana Jones, he has grown up and he is an actor in this film. He plays the husband. This film did pass the Bechdel test. So, everything everywhere all at once is about a bedraggled woman. She's a wife. She's a mother. She works in a laundromat. It is her family business with her husband who is not helpful. She is constantly working so hard and she struggles to have a good relationship with her lesbian daughter. I related very much to this Michelle Yeoh character because sometimes I do feel like I have to do it all myself. I built this beautiful, amazing extra castle and then, you know, I have to tell people how to do all these dresses for me and, uh, you know, to get my wigs looking nice, you know, it just feels like I have no help at all, ever. So I related to that. But also I relate to the Jamie Lee Cur Curtis character because, you know, Give me your money so I can make more pretty dresses, right? Like, I mean, they're just both very relatable characters. Then she has to go to the IRS. I blame her husband. I forget why she had to go to the IRS, but it was a good reason because going to the IRS is always, a, you know, if you are in trouble with the IRS, you need to go take care of it immediately, darling. So, she goes to the IRS and suddenly weird things start happening. She is falling in and out of worlds and her husband is her husband, but he's also not her husband. It's like there are multiple universes and... There are different versions of her husband, there are different versions of her, and there are different versions of her daughter and everyone else. Anyway, the IRS lady played by the Jimmy Lee Curtis. They get into a fight. And of course, with Michelle Yeoh, who is a phenomenal martial artist in the movie films. She fights with the Jamie Lee Curtis and they're like bah, bah, bah. and there's this one part where she swings a dog around on a collar and uses it as a weapon, like the leash. The leash is attached to a collar and the dog goes spinning around in this space and it's a weapon and it's I don't know how they made this film on an indie budget because there are so many layers to everything. It's phenomenal. I don't understand what the googly eyes mean, but there are a lot of googly eyes in this film, okay? So if you have a, if you're one of those people that is afraid of googly eyes, this is not the film for you, okay? This is a movie that you need to watch closely. You just put your phone down and you watch the movie. You should watch all movies and not have your phone anywhere near you because most films are trying to tell you something very nice. Uh, I mean, they didn't shoot this movie just so you could stare at your phone, right? <laughs> but with certain films like Banshee of Anishrin, you have to. Yeah. This was a film about kindness. You wouldn't think that a film with a bunch of martial arts would be about kindness, but this film really is about kindness. And I think that's very sweet. <sighs> Spoilers! If you don't want to know everything about the film, this is the time where you need to skip that door away. Just 
Go away. I'll take on. I think the only thing that bothered me that was kind of creepy to me were the hot dog fingers. <sighs> the hot dog fingers were very creepy to me. I did not appreciate them. No. Not my thing, you know. But I did love the little lesbian relationship between um, Jimmy Lee Curtis and Michelle Yeo. That was a fun twist. Da. You know, <laughs> I have been known to enjoy the German voice myself, but <laughs> I don't kiss until <laughs> the daughter. She's also the villain, but not in all of the universes. Also, there is something with bagels, and I don't understand the bagel thing. It isn't everything bagel, which those are my favorite, so I was okay with that, you know? So, as you know, I give all films either the guillotine, if I don't like it, if I hate that film, or I give it a big ship. You'd love a little big sheep because it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible either. It's just a cute fluffy pink sheep. Or I give it the champagne. This film was so much fun and it was a little bit of everything. It was a little bit of comedy, it was a little bit of family drama, it was a little bit of action, a little bit of this real amazing indie goodness that I just leave off of. So, this film is Champagne. You earned it, baby. I love you. Mm. Yes, everyone did an amazing job. I I loved the acting in this film and I loved the writing and I loved everything about it. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. So, if you haven't seen it yet, you should go watch it. I think it's on a streamer now. I think you can go watch it on a streamer. Okay. Feel free to tell me what you think in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you think that I am the bee's knees, please subscribe, follow me. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Go away. Go. Go away. Go.